during the time of the Second World War, Cori Ten Boom and her family were captured by Nazis and sent to a concentration camp. Only Cori Ten Boom survived the ordeal. After the war, Cori Ten Boom traveled different countries of Europe and went on lecturing on forgiveness and reconciliation. Once after her talk, a man came forward to thank her for the talk and reached out to shake Cory's hand. Cory could not believe her eyes because he was the man who tortured her family. Cory could not reach out her hand. She was so surprised to see her own response because few minutes ago she had given a lecture on forgiveness and reconciliation. In today's Gospel, Jesus is telling Peter to forgive 77 times, which means in numerous times we need to forgive others. Our life situation is more or less the same like Cory Ten Boom. We speak good things in words but fail to do in action. Now the question is, how will we solve this problem of forgiveness? What will we do when we cannot forgive others? How will we get rid of the emotional block that chokes off our best efforts to forgive? How will we carry out Jesus' instruction to forgive in today's Gospel reading? Now let us see how Cory Ten Boom handled this situation. Cory began to pray silently. Jesus, I cannot forgive this man. Give me your forgiveness. At that moment, she felt empowered by another source and shook God's hand in true forgiveness. Thus, she discovered a great truth. It is not on our own forgiveness that we forgive, but on God's forgiveness. Therefore, we need to pray for God's grace to forgive others. Another thing we need to remember that the forgiveness and graces of God we received in our lives. We should not be like the official of the gospel who failed to forgive his co-worker instead of receiving forgiveness from his master. Today we pray that we may be strengthened by the grace of God and forgive others. Mm -hmm.